Good morning. Um, I'm just going to give it a minute. This is Kelly AG. And we'll get started here. As soon as I know you can hear me, we're live, good to go. So I just refreshed my page to make sure I'm on here. So if you're joining me, please say hello, good morning. Okay, I see we are live, so we are good. Um, let's see. Second. Oops, I got to turn my volume down. I thought I did that and I forgot. Okay. Ooh, I hate to hear my own voice. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. So yes, good morning. I'm Kelly Ag up in Atlanta, Michigan, up north. We're kind of between Gaylord and Alpena. So love it up here, except I don't like this cold weather. So, but nothing I can do. So yes, if you're joining me today, I got some fun little projects. I forgot to post that I was coming live today, but um, I'm gonna try to keep it as much as I can on Wednesdays at 10. Maybe I might, like I said, still try to change it to a later time. Um, I'm not sure if the afternoons are better or not, but anyways, I am going to get started. I'm just going to quick show you. We have till November 10th to sign up for my uh, monthly card class to go. And these were, I was working with the Fluffiest Friends, which is available to order now on line it's the online exclusive so you will be making um two each of these cards and um i just love them i love the brights and kind of i'm already starting to get a little tired of christmas cards but not that bad yet but i'm i'm ready for change so but um so this would be the original class that you'd be signing up for and that is $41.50. It includes a pack of the designer paper, some embellishments, which I still ask you can add on the Christmas class for $30, and it would be shape or saving on the shipping. Now, if you don't want this class, you can do just the Christmas class. Still sign up for the original class for the $41.50, but just message me or text me that you want the Christmas class, okay? But we're using the Joy of Christmas, I think, and I love this. So you will get a little bit of the silver ribbon and then some more of this ribbon right here. Oops, actually these two ribbons. But anyways, if you got questions, just please contact me. You only have till the 10th to sign up. I order all this stuff and then I get it shipped out. Usually I say by the 23rd, but lots of times it's earlier than that. And then when I ship it out, I'll send your PDF out as well. And like, this is just a sample. This isn't the same cards and I'm missing one of the cards, but I'm cutting for another class. But I usually have everything all packed in your envelopes and die cut and everything and embossed, okay? So that's how I do that class. Hi, Donna, glad you're joining me. It's chilly morning, so. Okay, so enough for that. You only have until the 10th to sign up. But what I'm doing today is I have a beautiful jumbo gift tag. At least I think it's nice. Um, I kind of wanted to do something different. And of course, I love the winter um, metal, I think it is, the paper. So that's what I used today. I had enough I could pull out. So I'm going to do this jumbo tag. Here's a little gift card holder. Okay, so I got a... I just have a generic Meyer um, gift card. I got that really tight. So you could do that. And then I also have another um, little gift card holder. And it, this is actually a card. So I just wanted to show you how I did this. And I'm actually, when I did this the first time, I'm going to change the measurements just a touch. So it kind of, I don't know, I think I'll like it better. But anywho, so these are the three projects that we're doing. And of course, you know, if you place a $40 order or more and use my host code by Sunday, I will send you the stuff to make this. Now, you, you know, you have to have your own stamps and inks, but you can use whatever. 
Um, and you can add any tree onto here, but you know, like I would give you the paper and the star and the ribbon and stuff. So, okay, let's get started. I'm excited. I want to do something other than just cards today. Um, so this is what we're going to work on. And I'm actually going to emboss the silver on here. And I know the season's greetings is probably, I guess you can see it pretty good. So, okay, but I just, I love this. I don't know why, but, and then two, I was going to tell you real quick, you could add another sheet of paper onto the back and do like a little note or you could actually put a little spot for a gift card on there. So I think that would be nice. So let's get started with that. So, oops, I almost lost my star. So what I have here is I am going to show you, I know I've, hi Carol, I've had, um, oh, I don't know, I must have folded this for something. I got a little score mark, but I think I'll be fine. But I wanted to show you, some people really don't understand embossing, and we who emboss all the time take that for granted. So I am going to go ahead and do um, the embossing, okay, for you. Thank you. I'm glad you liked that card. I was ready to pull my hair out of my head putting all those little crates together. Um, <laughs> and I hope they stayed through the, through the mail because it was like, ugh. So, but anyways, um, people that came to my retreat, I had sent them out thank you notes. So what I'm using is Lost Lagoon paper and Lost Lagoon ink. So this, um, this stamp, you kind of got to be gentle. My ink pad is juicy. So anytime that I um, move because I'm, I almost should have like got rid of some of the ink, but it will kind of take some of the ink back off. So I'm just trying to gently lift. I think that's pretty good. So I don't want to like keep pulling up and stuff because you will see. And I may actually have a little spot that didn't take very well. But with the embossing on it, you're not even going to notice. And then what I also found with these photopolymer um, stamps like this, take and rub it on and just let it sit there for a second or two so the ink kind of soaks in. Okay, I think that should be good. Good, very good. That will work. We're happy with that. Sometimes it, it, it is a little lighter there, but that's okay. And then I know you can take like a, eraser I think and just gently go over this but I didn't do that or do versa mark I think if you do versa mark as well and then ink the ink will stick better to those bigger stamps but I'm good so okay so what I got is this this is where um let's see this silver is so that's what this is so I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I'm going to use my little embossing buddy to get all the static out of there. And I actually had to look for this. I had it packed away and didn't know where it was. So what I'm going to do is do my Versa mark on here. And I'm just kind of going, because my stamp is bigger than my ink pad, I like to bring it from the top. Okay, so we're going to do this right on here. And I'm still using my little mat. And I'm just going to do that. And then while I'm at it, and you can't even really see that, but it's there. And then I'm going to do my um, season's greetings. I'm just doing that in the Versa mark as well. Okay, that you can kind of see. So let me close this up. I'm going to get that mat out of there. I used my little, I know some people got like the little bowls, and I do have for some of my colors, but I've just been using this. So I'm using silver embossing powder. Tap it from the back. Then I got a couple little spots here that I don't want. And I'm going to use my 
brush. Now this paintbrush came, or yeah, little paintbrush came with it. But I actually like to have a real fine one because then I can get in closer. But what I'm going to do is just move this aside and hope to God I don't spill it, right? So now we're going to get the heat tool. Get it warmed up. Get it where I can work this. So what you're going to do is just, like it's a doll looking now, when it gets hot enough and melts, it will shine. And you can see the change, hopefully. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. I don't know if you can see that or not. So. Good, I'm glad you got your card this time, Donna. Every time I send Donna something, it seems like it takes 10 times longer to get to her. I don't know why. But now, see, can you see the difference? So, for people that don't emboss much, you just have to make sure that it um, changes to the shininess. Because the very first time I did this and I didn't heat it up enough, see, like, I got some right there. That it comes right off. Okay, but... Top. You don't want to burn your paper, so you don't want to get too close, but you want it to melt is what it's doing. Okay, so what I have is, let's see what I did with it. I took in, once this cool, you got to let it cool a little bit. Um, I stuck my largest tree on there and I cut that out and then I just trimmed that down to season's greetings, okay? So I will have another one to make an extra tag. Okay, so the size of this is, I got that written down. Um, this is actually, the outside is three and a half by six, and then I went a quarter inch shorter on the white and just an eighth of an inch um, shorter on the paper. Don't you just love those trees? So, let's see how much glue I got left because I have been really using all my glue and I need to order much more, but I'm going to get that today, hopefully. So, I'm just going to add these, layer them up. I just love this tree here. Now, if you really wanted to get fancy... Um, you could stamp, oh, oh, shoot, did not want to do that. Oh, gosh, I might have to stick a piece of paper there and clean that off. Uh, I got that little bit of glue there. Hang on a minute. Let me see my, got to find my little thing. I don't have a baby wipe near me. And I should, but I'm going to use my little, um, cleaner just to get that glue off and then I'll wash that when I'm done. Okay. Oh gosh, it's early yet, right? Okay. Hopefully I'll have to clean that. Oh, all right. So, um, I forgot. What, oh, what I was going to say is if you did this tree, let me see. I think there's five dies. So on the one class, I added like all the layers and I kept adding dimensional. So if you wanted to do this with this, so then like your next layer would be this bottom cut off. So you could like really build that tree up and I think that'd be really cool. So if I happen to do one, I'll post it, okay? I might do that after I'm done. But for now, we're just gonna do the one tree. Let me put this glue back on, and I got to find my dimensionals. I kind of got a mess all over. But that's what happens when you craft, so. I love Lost Lagoon. I am so glad that that is back. Once I use the paper, I kind of tend to forget about it or, you know, maybe don't use it again. But, I don't know, I, this is probably my favorite pack 
besides the All About Autumn. I should almost get another pack of this. And I seen a lot of our um, stuff was back in stock. So that was nice. Just the embellishments. Yeah. So the season's greetings, I just cut maybe a little less than a half an inch. I tried to kind of, um, you know, make it so it wasn't real big. And I almost wanted to put that on an angle. What do you guys think? Can you see that? Maybe on an angle? I think I'm going to with this one. Sometimes I like things on an angle. <laughs> Something a little different. But I'm just getting these backings off. Okay. So I have a star that I'm adding as well. But I'm going to add that after I add my ribbon. So I got a couple different kinds of ribbon here, and I love this um, black and vanilla buffalo check. I didn't realize how much wider it was than our other buffalo check, but it is quite a bit wider. So I'm doing probably maybe six, seven inches, a little bit more. And then I got this gold and silver, but I'm using just the silver. And I also have this, I dragged this out. I think this is still current, the glitter, um, the glitter ribbon. It's just a white. I'm not sure if it's still current, but I had it. And I thought I, I wanted the, um, the white with the silver trim, but I don't know. I, I couldn't find that I had that or not on an angle. Yeah, I like it on an angle too. So what I'm going to do is just kind of layer this. Last time I didn't spread it out very much, but that was okay. So I'm just going to, I got this longer than I need. And you can actually punch a hole and tie this. But what I'm going to do is try to do this with the stapler and not staple my fingers. I got to do it upside down though so I can see what I'm doing. The nice part is, is if you got too much down, you can always kind of pull it up but I just want it even even when I say that is straight which I don't know if I got that straight good enough okay so I'm just going to kind of just angle these a little bit no rhyme or reason I guess I'll cut that one that way and then I can add my star because I can kind of see a little bit. I'm just adding a little glue. Now you could just add a glue dot if you wanted to. Okay. I'm just going to put there, there. And I cut that out in that silver foil. It, there's like three different kinds. They're lighter, darker, and then kind of a quite a bit darker one. And then what else I have is, um, I've got a glue dot because I'm going to cover this staple and I got another piece of this ribbon. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. Hopefully you guys like it too. I like this. I left this string a little longer and I must have had it spread out a little bit more because this is the first time I did the jumble tags and I like this better. So, but now if you wanted to do this and add like, add this to say a bottle of wine, you would just probably like make this paper instead of six inches. Maybe I would do nine, nine and a half so you can punch a hole, I guess, depending on, um, how you know you can get some wine bottles that are a little like thinner or whatever but I would say probably at least three inches maybe three and a half and then put a score line there and punch a hole in it and then it, it could hang from the bottle of wine so I'm not a <clears throat> not a wine drinker so I don't have a bottle of wine to show you but that's what you could do if you were taking it to somebody's house for a little gift but I think that's cute and I actually really like that on an angle I was kind of torn about that one and stuff. And you know what? I've got to add my embellishments. So let's add them. Now I'm just using the festive pearls on everything. 
I had ordered quite a few of these packs. So I wasn't sure, but I think I'm going to do the silver again because I wanted the, um, just to kind of all blend in. Oops, stuck to my finger. Okay, and let's see, I added a couple here. Let's go a little higher. And then one more right here. You know what? Do you want to, let's see, there or there? Eh, let's go there. Okay. What do you think? Do you like that? Hopefully, make some of them. I, like I said to you, you can make this a gift card holder in the back or for the wine bottle. But Okay. Thanks, Carol, for sharing. I appreciate that. All right. Let's move on to our second one. Now I make this all the time. I just love this. I This is my sample that I keep that I had made a long time ago and it's so easy. This actually came apart and ripped off the paper but I keep it just because it's a nice little sample to have but I made it with this paper and just you know like say if you got your grandmother who doesn't want the bright but I mean who wouldn't like this paper right this is old but it's shiny and stuff but for something different or a birthday even then you could change that but let's get going with that okay hopefully I got my white little circle somewhere here which okay I was gonna say boy okay so this is really simple as well um this is, let's see, I got my little cheat sheet here. So this is um, three and a half by eight and a half, and I scored it at two inches and six inches. So, so this will be your top, the two inches. Okay, so what I am going to do here right away is I'm just going to use my score tape. Now you could use glue as well. But I'm just going to use score tape. And I'm just going to do this, the, um, only the sides, of course, if you want to add a gift card in there. Okay. And I got that little bit overhanging. Doesn't matter. You can just fold it under. Can you guys hear me okay? Because I had a lady watch one of my videos and she claimed she couldn't hear me very well, but I think it was on her end because I kind of listened a little bit back and I could hear it. So, okay, so that is the first one. And then what I'm going to do is use my, um, my trio punch and I'm just going to, I like the corners rounded. You don't have to though, okay? And then I have a little piece of designer paper. So you kind of got to look at this to see if there's a way that it looks better. And, hmm, I think I'm gonna put this as like the bottom of the, the front. So I'm just going to round that as well. And that is one and seven eighths by three and three eighths. Okay, and that's all we're doing for that. So I'm going to glue that here. Okay, good. <laughs> you have to worry about that. I've done a whole video, just a regular video, and when I got done, it had stopped about halfway through. I thought, oh, goodness. So that means everything you've done, you got to recut for and start over. So this little piece will go on here, and this is two and three eighths by three and three eighths. So just so short. Actually, that's kind of really pretty too. You know, let me see that how that would look. What do you guys think? Do you think that would look okay? Maybe try this instead of the the same. I think I am. I'm going to put this side down. For something a little different since I did the other side already. Yeah, we'll do something a little different. I think either way 
Now this, this side would be great for like a guy too. So, and then the other thing I was going to tell you is like, if you didn't want to use the little Velcro, you could actually kind of move. I got a, um, a glue dot under here, but you could actually move that ribbon up a little bit and it would hold it closed. But I'm going to go ahead and use the Velcro. So let me stamp first. We are going to use the Pretty Peacock. And I think I am using one of the stamp sets. Let's see, I got two here. I'm using the Brightest Glow and the Hope and Peace. I think I'm using something out of here. I'm not sure. But if not, I got them from, I know I'm using the Brightest Glow. I use the Seasons Greetings and I'm gonna make sure I don't get my arm in my ink. I'm not paying attention. So this was a two inch circle punch and then I used the um, stylish dies, the um, stylish shape dies for this. Okay, that is good and that's all there is to that. These make great, um, you know, for the craft fairs, if you make a bunch up to sell. Okay, see how that fits on there? Just really nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of put that about there. So I'm going to want to add glue to maybe about, not quite three quarters, about two thirds. Okay. So let's see if I can get glue on here. Joking, I hope I don't get more glue on my table. <laughs> I think I did good. So there's that. I think I actually like that better. Okay. What do you guys think? The second one? Okay, so... The only ribbon that I had to match was this um, Moody Mauve. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really like the ribbon. It frays and it's hard to tie, but I'm going to use it anyways. I like a ribbon that is, um, oh, I cut way too much, but I just did a knot. So I like ribbon that I that's easier to tie, even in the knot, which I'm going to probably move down here. I still had like a, a hard time tying it nice. So let me see. Maybe it's just me and not the ribbon. Because sometimes that is the case. So I just want to keep that as tight as I can get it without getting a cramp in my hand, my fingers. Okay. Come on. Okay. That's better though. Maybe it was me just not tying it right. Okay. So, can go there. I may shorten that. Okay. Now I'm going to put my Velcro down. But see how you could kind of slide that up and it would keep it down? What I don't like is this was a lot easier to tie and get it tighter and I don't know. Whatever. But I need to shorten this up. Okay, so to do the Velcro, um, where did I put it? Where did it go? Let's see. I just had it here. Okay, oh, right here. I was going to say, gosh. <laughs> okay, so this fuzzy part I'm actually going to put down first, okay? And normally I put both of them down, or together first but I did that and then the other one I will line up here and hope it sticks and not to my fingers okay and then when you close it there okay that could have been centered a little more but that's okay so I am going to actually still slide this up and what I did with my other one, because I did not like the way it was laying, but I added a glue dot under it, this one, so it doesn't move that much, but I'm not going to with this one. I'm okay with it. So we're just going to slide it down a touch. 
And then I'm going to add a couple more of my gems. Gosh, I like that a lot better. So I'm going to just go up a little bit. I added them all to the merry and bright, but I'm going to just add them to the other. Okay, there. See, usually when you do something, um, oh yeah, <laughs> Carol, you don't know me in, in fire. It's just best that I don't do that. <laughs> Trust me. I have my whole card and my whole table on fire. It's just, you can ask any one of my family. They would probably just laugh and say, eh, don't give her a lighter. <laughs> So, but anyways, but yes, I would have Todd do that. That would help. But, um, cause this one does fray a lot, obviously, but I definitely like the dark here and then this pattern paper up there. So I, that's what I would do if I ever made another one of these. Okay. So third project. Oh my gosh. It kind of just makes me laugh, but <laughs> Okay, I'm using the Misty Moonlight, and I don't think I, I don't think I scored that. And I need my trimmer anyways. I like to score my card bases. So that will be four and a quarter. Okay. So what I did, um, let me just go ahead and do this while I got the trimmer here. So my piece on my card, I actually did four in, just four inches by five and a quarter. And then at the two and five eighths mark, I cut it like from the bottom up to an inch and a quarter and then folded those flaps over. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put this in at two and two five eights. I'm not sure what I said before that two five eights. So that's that next longer um, line past the half inch. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up to, I'm going to go up to one and a quarter and cut it. Okay, somewhere around there you should. So done with that. But what I did is I made this a little bit larger, just an eighth of an inch, but I like it better, okay? So now we're just going to take and kind of fold this over from corner, which sometimes it's nice to score this too because it gives you a nicer fold. Ah, I'm having, let's see. I just gotta get the right angle. And on my last card, I didn't fold it quite far enough and I could see white and it kept, I kept thinking that like it just was the white for my background. I'll show you here in a minute. So I want to get that folded. That's why sometimes it's easier to score this, but we're good. Let's get my corners to a nice point. Okay, so then, and I actually got that one. How do I get this one scored a little higher? It's fine because I'm going to add a ribbon there, but that's just weird. I wonder why that one didn't do that. And I don't think I want to mess with that now, but try to get your, <laughs> try to get your points even or whatever. But I'm just going to go ahead and put the glue down because it'll, it'll be fine once I do the ribbon. Yeah, they fold a lot easier, and I could have easily put that in the trimmer and done that. That would have been fine. So I think that's another tip that I would probably do. Okay. But nobody will notice, right? <laughs> so, all right. But just to show you, see, that kind of fills that front of that card up a little bit nicer. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Now, I don't know if I cut these the same. I did. Okay, because I actually ended up cutting my other pieces just a tad bit longer, too. So this piece actually got two of these. One's for the inside, too. But this is two and three quarters by five and an eighth. And where that's going to go is right down here. Okay, and then we're going to add this. 
and kind of, I could have probably went a little bit longer, but I'm trying to just, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is stamp the Merry Christmas. Sometimes you gotta, you know, like when you make something for the first time, you gotta kind of play with it because sometimes it's how you want it and the next time it isn't or you see you need to get it a little longer. Okay, so I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas, right, kind of in the center. Okay. And then we'll stamp our inside here in a minute. So what I'm going to do is glue this down, but I'm just going to check this again. Okay. So this is basically a card that you can put a gift card in it where there's a spot for a gift card. Okay. Just kind of center that. This would be kind of cool popped up too, but I think if you have to mail it, I'd probably say just take and tape it down. But I'm really running out of glue here. So I think the last couple times I have ordered, I've had to order so much stuff that I kind of keep forgetting about my adhesive. Okay. See how pretty that is? And then when I get done, I'm going to have a bow right here. And you won't even see that I have different little sizes there. So, all right. So on this one, this will be our top, okay? And I'm just going to glue this down. Now, you could stamp something on here. I'm not going to. But um, if you want it to, you could. So that's just going to be. And then what I'm going to do here is I almost like this paper, but I don't think you see it very well. So I'm going to go with this. And we're just going to kind of, I made that a little bit longer. So that is an inch and three quarters by five and three eighths. And then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to do my score tape. Because I want that to be good. I mean, you could do, I don't think I do dimensionals. So I'm just going to do my score tape. I don't know if there's a right or wrong, but... And you just kind of want to get it as close to the edge as you can. So there will be plenty of room. So my first card I had just an inch and a half and it didn't seem like it was very like deep and you don't want to lose the card. So And I got a little bit there, so. Oh, so what's everyone doing for Thanksgiving? We have changed our plans like several times to see everyone's work schedule and everything else. So what I'm going to do is try to make sure I don't go like all the way to the, to the fold, but right there. Kind of center it nice. Now see what I would do is probably put my gift card in like that. Okay. So with that score tape, you know that's going to stay there. Okay. So on the inside, I just did a simple, nice little saying that says, Hoping your Christmas shines bright with the love of family and friends. And I'm just going to do that in the um, Misty Moonlight. I just really love that set. It is so nice. That's probably a set I will keep even if it does retire. So let's see if I got any more glue in any of these other ones, which I kind of doubt. I think if I just throw them away, <laughs> then I'll remember to order more. And I've used glue so much, I haven't even ordered um, 
the Stampin' Seal, which I really like that too, but I just, I don't know. Okay. In this one, I have the five and three eighths by four and an eighth. So everything kind of lines up nice, okay? So let's get a glue dot on here. And we're gonna stick it right there. And I did a double bow, which... This ribbon's a little harder to tie, too, because it wants to keep slipping, but it's really pretty. Wouldn't the triple bow be nice on there? Okay, well, either way, that is really beautiful. I just absolutely love, love, love this paper. Okay, so let's get a few embellishments on. I'm going to spread them out a little bit. They really show up pretty. Blue. So one here, and I want to do one there. We'll go here. Okay. So what do you think? I know you could just. This could be just a card. It doesn't need to be um, a gift card holder. But that's what I was just trying to get to. So you know, this one's got more design on it, which is pretty. But this is, I don't know. It's just. It's really pretty. Just simple. And I actually like the measurements on this one better though. So I definitely would do the um, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. So, and it turned out good. Okay, so these are my cards, gift card holders. And I definitely, see it's good that we kind of work together. I, I like my, my choices that I did on my Facebook Live. So I was kind of designing these early this morning, so God only knows what I was thinking. But any hoot, so there you guys go. That's the little class for today. So don't forget, if you like this, you can order $40 or more and use my host code by Sunday night. And I'll send you the stuff to do this. And um, if you go over $50, I also will send you an embellishment, okay? Have to use my host code, and it has to be the $40 before um, shipping and tax. All right, guys. Have a great, great weekend, and I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks. Bye-bye.